guys, it's T here from Teeny Daily, and it's that time again. Boxy Charm on Boxing Time, and it's June Box, which happens to be my birthday month. Yes, yes, y'all. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. You guys were so amazing. I had an amazing birthday, and this actually came on my birthday, so I was like, hey, present time. So I did see the Alemad palette on Boxy Charms Instagram, and I was so excited. Oh my gosh, for a couple different reasons. It looks so beautiful and amazing. I'm ready to dive into this box. I've already torn it open. Oh my goodness. Okay, first off, Luxie brushes. The Luxie brushes that have come in the other boxes I have fallen in love with. The angled brush, use that all the time in my outer corner. Super excited about these. It looks like we have a foundation brush, a highlighter brush, and a duo fiber powder brush, hey. Y'all know I don't typically use foundation brushes, but, but I have a video coming out soon where I will actually be using a foundation brush. Yes, I know, what? For those of my gals who like to use brushes, I'm going to start using them for y'all so you can see how to use them, if that's your preference. Y'all know my preference is sponges, but there are some really good foundation brushes on the market. This one will definitely be one we try out in another video, because um, I already have my foundation, my base makeup, because I knew I wanted to focus a lot of this video on the Alemar palette. All right, we also got, let's see, some Baddington lashes. Ooh, 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 these lashes. Oh, you can touch them. Oh, they're so soft. They're so soft, you guys. Do they have a style? Oh, they're called Monroe. Oh, like Marilyn Monroe. Like Marilyn Monroe, my favorite. We have a Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It's a free butt. Oh, <laughs> it's a fast absorbing body cream. But look, I got all excited. I was like, I cream I can put on my butt. <laughs> I want to see what it smells like. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Nick, are you serious? <laughs> so there's definitely some coconut in here. I'm not a big coconut person, but it's actually not overwhelming. It's coconut mixed with some other stuff, maybe some amber. All right, so this is going to be the first product we try, the Bum Bum. Let's put it on this ashy elbows. Oh, it goes on really nice. My skin definitely needed it, y'all. Y'all. Wow. Did y'all hear that? That grunt from the, the peanut gallery? <laughs> I wish I had something to throw at you. So it smells really nice. It feels really nice. Let me put it on the other elbow to make it even. And we'll see how my elbows feel by the end of the video. It says it is $10. The formula helps your body look and feel its smoothest and tightest. Ooh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe I should have put it on the elbows then. No, we can use a little firming up there. Come on, girl. Stop playing. Firmify. Firm that elbow. Okay, so for $10, that's not bad. Then we have, it looks like we have a matte lip paint. We have a black eyeliner. Ooh, I'm excited to dip into this. This color is beautiful, by the way. And then, of course, the Alimar Cosmetics palette. Hello, gorgeouses. I have zoomed you in a little bit so we can get into this Alimar Cosmetics palette. Oh, my gosh. It is stunning. It is beautiful. This is like the perfect summertime, springtime island girl shades that I have been looking for. There is no blue like this on the market that I have seen. So I was super, super excited about this. Yes. So obviously y'all can probably already guess. I want to center whatever look we come up with around this blue right here. That's going to be the main queen of the show. I'm in love with the palette. I wanted to know more about it. I went and follow I went and saw them on Instagram and saw that it was this woman who had a dream who was a Hispanic, a Latina like myself, and she just wanted to grow her company. And I saw her and her family and her cousins sitting here packaging the this palette. And it kind of just hit home for me and seeing her and her family work together to package these palettes by hand. They're doing it by themselves. 
just really warms my heart. Obviously, I'm still gonna be 110% honest with y'all. If I, for some reason, don't like these shades, I don't like the way they blend, I don't like the pigmentation, I'm gonna be 110% with y'all and tell you guys. For me, it's not just about the product, it's about where it comes from, it's about the, the story behind it, it's about the company, is it cruelty free, is it vegan, all of that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Wet n Wild Chrome Tapered Crease Brush and we're gonna go in with we're gonna go in with a tiny bit of cafecito right here. Just a little bit, cause I, I'm I'm fearful that this might be super pigment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that, okay. I went in twice. Okay, we're gonna attempt to put that in the crease. Ooh. Ooh, that was a lot of pigment. It's a lot of pigment that's kind of staying in one area. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can blend it out. Okay, it is blending out. My gosh, you guys, when I say don't, when I say pick up a pinch, pick up a pinch. Wow. Okay. Okay, it's beautiful. It darkened it up nicely. It did end up blending out. You barely need any flipping product at all. Just keep that in mind. I'm going in picking up a fluffier, just tapered blending brush. And this one's from Kylie Jenner Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in with Coco Taxi. It's going with just a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> wow. You guys, these are so pigmented. Are you kidding me right now? I'm loving the way it's blending out. I'm impressed so far. If these are just, if these are the matte shades, I cannot wait to see what the shimmer shades look like. Wow. All right, I'm grabbing my clear tape. Outer corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. And then just press it into place, and then bada bang. I'm gonna take this fluffy angled brush from Be A Small, the gold collection, and we're gonna grab a little bit more of that Coco Taxi. And by picking up this angled brush, I'm gonna be able to apply a little bit more pigment, and I wanna darken it up just in this outer corner. I want it to be a little bit more orangey right here. Yes. There are no funky smells, no like cool smells like chocolate or anything like that, <laughs> like the last boxy charm box, but I'm okay with that. Y'all know the drill with the cut creases. We're getting out our NYX Above and Beyond in light and my crease brush from Went Wild, and we're gonna go ahead and make that crease, baby. Is grab some of that NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Y'all remember when this is my go-to? I still love it. But it's a nice white base. And the reason I'm putting this white down is because I really want to bring out that blue. I had no problem applying it just like that. But if you need to use a brush, feel free to get another crease brush and clean it off. Or, you know. I'm grabbing some on this Aesthetica brush that we got in last month's box to clean it up. Honestly, you could have gone in with the white the whole way through. It's just out of habit I went in with NYX. <laughs> Here's Celia. Here's the brush we're picking up with our Eco Tools. It's the Duo one and picking up with the packing brush side. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. That is Celia. We're going to put that in the inner of our eye. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, y'all! That is beautiful! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness graciousness. 
Now I'm going in with the BS Small Packing Brush and we're gonna go in with Veradera! Yes, the Blue Hunty! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, yes! It's stunning! It is stunning, stunning. This is exactly what I had in mind when I was looking for a beautiful navy blue shimmery shade. This is what I'm talking about. I'm using the blue to blend into the green because I want more of the blue than anything in this eye color. Oh my gosh, I'm like mermaid vibes! Mermaid vibes! Mermaid vibes! <laughs> Here's the brush. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is glitter. Oh wow. That is glittery. That is glittery. Woo! We might need to be careful with that one. <gasps> oh, yes. That is perfect. This just turned into, okay, so that has a lot more green undertones than gold. I thought it had a little bit more gold undertones, but it's definitely green, okay. Alrighty guys, it's time to try the Jante Bleu, Jante Bleu eyeliner. Let's see, it runs for $5, yeah! Yay, BoxyCharm, now that I can get down with. It is 100% vegan, waterproof eyeliner pencil glides on smooth for an elevated eye look. Use along the upper lash line or waterline. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I love that it's 100% vegan. Beautiful, oh, it's charcoal. Ooh, I thought it was black, it's charcoal. Okay, so you definitely can't see it over the blue. I mean, what could you see over the blue though? <laughs> to be fair, let's go ahead and take it into the waterline. Um, eh, it's okay. Okay, there we go. It just needed a little jolt. It just needed a little jolt in the right direction. It's pretty. It went on incredibly smooth in the waterline for five bucks. No complaints so far. Let's see if it is indeed waterproof because my eyes are super watery right now, which works out <laughs> because my life's falling apart and I've been crying. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> but so we shall see if it's waterproof. I'm gonna wait to put it in the other eye just in case it like starts running or something or I don't end up liking it with this eye look. Alrighty, y'all, I'm gonna do something a little cray-cray <laughs> different here. We're going to take this Tropico, Tropico. We're gonna take this Tropico and Guantanamera right here, beautiful burgundy shade, and we're gonna make it into a liner, cause I wanna. We're taking the Aesthetica brush again, and we're going to take the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm actually going to create a wing, like I would. And the reason I'm using glitter primer and not eyelash glue is because I wanna give myself a little bit more wiggle room so it doesn't dry immediately. So we're going to start placing it along the lash line, like that, and then start dragging it out, creating a wing. That's one of the things about makeup, you guys, is don't be afraid to go out of your element. Try something new. Try something new. Starting to dry down. It's getting tacky wacky. We gotta move fast. We gotta move fast, you guys. It's so cool. And I'm going to line it with black as well. It's unique. It's out of the box. Yeah, we could have totally just done a black liner and called it a day and that would look beautiful as well. But I'm doing a review. So I wanna to try to use as many colors as I can. 
So now we're going in with Pretty Vulgar Liner in Blacklist. We got this in last month's box and it has been my go-to for all black liner things. Yes, darling. It is amazing as well as the Aesthetica brush that came with it. This has been my, this is life changing, y'all. Like I said in last month's Boxy Charm unboxing, it has changed the way I apply my liner. So I'm in, picking up a little bit of product. If I end up with any excess, as you guys see, I'm putting it right there on the tape. And I'm bringing it to about right there, right here. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black to get those really detailed areas and also clean it up. So I still gotta, still gotta work on this eye a little bit, but this is what it's going to look like. This eye over here, look at this cut creased edges. They are sharp, darling. They could cut away your problems, darling. This is where it's at. This brush right here, this definer brush from Wet n Wild, I'm telling you, if you haven't gotten it yet, y'all, get it. It's $2 and it will completely change your cut crease game. I went and picked up Coco Taxi, that beautiful orange shade right there, picked it up on this definer brush, and then that's what I took along the colored edge and gave it that nice defined cut crease look. Alrighty, gorgeouses, I am back. It is time to you tackle that lower lash line. We're going to go in with that gorgeous Veredero blue right there with the detailed lower lash line brush from Wet n Wild. And y'all, if you don't already, I know I've said this in a couple of my other videos, but get yourself a color switch. It's like two to six bucks depending on what style you get and everything, but it will save your life. That way you can just use the blue, color switch it, take all the color off, and then go on to the next color. Yes. Now let's go ahead and pick up Tropico, this shade right here, with a eyeshadow blending brush. And remember you guys, these mattes, look at that. They do not play. They do not. So dust off the excess. Oh, you live in a Tropico land. Y'all, my Hispanic side is coming out to play today. Got a Hispanic Southern out today. I'm grabbing a pencil brush from BS Small, the Rose Gold Collection, and we're gonna pick up La Costa. Now, I am excited about the shade because I feel like we're gonna be able to use this one as a highlighting shade as well. Let's go ahead and see. Yes, look at that. All these shades, all these shades were just put together with love and care and pigmentation. All right, let's go ahead and pop that right in the inner corner. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You do not need a lot of pigment. Beautiful. Alrighty, tidy, y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna finish that up off camera. I wanna jump into these lashes. I just wanna jump into these lashes. $28, $28 is baffling me a little bit. Remember you guys, whenever you're using new lashes for the first time, that you're going to need to cut them to fit your eye shape nine times out of 10. There are some lashes that you don't need to, but nine times out of 10, you're gonna to need to clip off at least these little edges right here and fit them to your size, your eyeball shape. They feel very sturdy, very fluffy. I will say they don't feel as voluminous as the Gala Lashes that are my favorite from Kiss. So that's kind of like a, ugh, you would think for 28 bucks. However, the band is very sturdy. That's something you wanna look for in a nice lash. It's very sturdy. I feel like we're kinda doing like Teeny Beginner Series 101 Lash Edition. Y'all getting a little sneak peek at my info. Okay, they're fitting nicely. They went on super easily. Wow, they're very voluminous. Yeah, so the band is quite thick. So it did end up covering a little bit of our burgundy, but it's all right, we'll go in with some more burgundy somewhere else. As far as the Jante Blue, it's been a good 40 minutes since I've been working on my eyes and then I had dinner. I don't feel like it's waterproof. My eyes were running, 
and it's darn near gone. It's darn near gone in my in my waterline. You see that? So, but honestly, for five bucks, I can't complain. If you're just looking for a, a nice charcoal liner, it went on very nicely, but it's not, it's not waterproof, y'all. It's not waterproof. Alrighty, you guys, I am back. Ah, I love the way it looks. That burgundy lined wing we have going on over there just adds something like eon flux to it i love it i love it all right the second to last product is the girl lactic beauty matte lip paint in the shade blossom it's it's purple pur 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 pur. it's perfect look at this for this liner couldn't have planned it better it like is identical look at that identical to that liner yum No word smells. Oh, that's thick. Oh, that's thick. Okay, we did not need that much product. Good to know. It's so pretty. It is gorgeous, it is comfortable, it only took about two minutes for it to dry completely matte, and it is matte, you guys, non-transferable. <laughs> All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and try the Luxie brushes, and then, you know, that way the lip can stay on. We'll see if we like it towards the end of the video, if it's uncomfortable in any way, if I wanna kick it off my lips or not. I like the packaging with the Luxie brushes. I love that cleanliness as soon as you take them out they have their shape i was afraid they'd be flat or that the bristles would be coming off look at that nothing some packaging smells you know from being in the packaging but nothing like oh god really why nothing like that all right so we're gonna go ahead and put the foundation brush which i believe is this one yep yeah. The 660 Precision Brush off to the side. We'll use the Foundation Brush in maybe a Snapchat or an Instagram like mini review or tutorial or just in another video. We're going to take the Duo Fiber Brush number 516, which is this one right here. Look at those bristles, beautiful. We're actually going to pick up Tropical and Guantanamera very, very lightly, y'all very lightly i'm talking about we're gonna do this boop 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 like that's it <laughs> okay we'll see how that goes because y'all have seen how pigmented this this joint is and we're going to take that very lightly on our cheek as a blush look at that look at that all right you see that i am so glad i picked that up lightly <laughs> that stuff is no joke look at that Okay, now as far as a blush brush for this brush, I would say, nah, stick to using this with powders. Like I would use this, you could use this as a setting powder. I prefer my setting powder brushes to be a little bit bigger, but you could use this as a setting powder brush. As far as a blush brush, it's not working for that. So let's just, let's move on. Let's go to my blush brush, my favorite one, which is from Be A Small, the Rose Gold Collection, this one right here. And we're gonna try to see if we can blend that out a little bit. Yes. All right, let's try it. The Tapered Highlighter Brush 522. And let's go in with La Casta. And use that as a highlighter. Now, you know what? I know this is pigmented AF, but I really, I wanna go in there. So I'm gonna go in there a little bit harder than I normally would with this palette, cause I know how pigmented it is. Let's just go in, let's go in a little hard. <laughs> Name your sex tape. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness gracious. That is beautiful. You guys, I am so impressed. I'm impressed by not just the pigmentation, the little fallout, the beautiful arrangement of tropical colors, Obviously the packaging is adorable. 
but it's so versatile. You can use that. You all just saw, I did a whole look with this, okay? A whole look with, like I even got a liner out of it. Able to do the blush and my highlight. I am so impressed right now. I'm gonna pick some up with my finger, La Costa. Oh gosh, yeah, we're gonna pick up very little. <laughs> that is so blinding, it's beautiful. I'm gonna put some on my nose. Okay, apparently we're gonna put a lot on our nose. <laughs> Look at that highlight, you cannot deny that highlight. My gosh, La Costa. That is a shade I would love to put all over my lid. We are definitely going to be doing that very soon. Oh, I can't wait to, to make so many more looks with this makeup palette. All right, really quick before I zoom y'all out for our final thoughts, I just want y'all to take a look at the lip. Eee, it's cracking a little bit. It is crackling. You see that here and here. And then if we do the lip thing, it's crackling. It's not my favorite. It, it is comfortable, surprisingly, even though it's crackling. It is comfortable. I'm not feeling like it's overly whelmed on my lips. But it's not going to last. It's definitely not going to last very long. It's definitely a pretty lip for pictures, though. Hey. Works perfectly with this. Beautiful tropical vibes. I feel like it look like Pecan Sam. Wait, that's not his name, is it? Toucan, Toucan Sam. Two, Toucan Sam? Too dang, Sam. Sam, I am. That's <laughs> We're going to stop. We're going to stop. We're going to stop. Alrighty, you guys. It is time for final thoughts. So first off, the Bum Bum Cream. I just love the name Bum Bum. Can we be honest? I would love to say, would you like to borrow some of my Bum Bum Cream? Look at a stranger straight in the face. Do you want some Bum Bum Cream? <laughs> You're like, what? But unfortunately, it has been about three and a half hours since I've been filming. Y'all already know the drill that I multitask. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I do all other things while I'm filming. I don't feel like it made me that smooth. I put on, ended up putting on three layers and I don't feel like it did a lot for my skin on the first go around. What I will say is it left me smelling really nice. I smell really, really nice and I'm definitely not ashy by any means. So, am I giving this a no? No, not yet. I want to I want to explore with this a little bit more over time. So make sure you go follow me on all of our social media handles, especially Snapchat and Instagram. I'm on Snapchat every single day, and I'll keep you all updated as to how I'm feeling on that. Right now, I'm just like, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. It's working. But am I do I feel like it's working that well? No. Not any better than my $3 body cream from Walmart. Then, of course, we have the Jante Bleu. Uh, I just love saying that. Jante Bleu. Jante Bleu. Jante Bleu. <laughs> I would just want to go around saying that. Um, the eyeliner pencil in charcoal. I felt like it went on very smooth. It was pigmented when I went and put it on, but it did not last very long at all. I would say probably about 10 to 15 minutes because my eyes were so watery. Maybe if you didn't have watery eyes, it would last you a little bit longer, but it's supposed to be waterproof. That's its kind of selling point. Um, it does run only $5. It's only $5. So take that with you as you will. But still, I feel like $5, you can find an amazing eyeliner from e.l.f. from Wet n Wild from NYX. So I feel like there are other options. So for me, this one was a no-go. The lip paint, y'all just saw that. We just did it. It ended up crackling. As I'm talking to you guys, it's getting more and more uncomfortable, especially for the price. It is $23. For $23. No, 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 it specifically says it's noticeably dramatic without the dryness or flaking. And no, unfortunately, it has major flakage. <laughs> flakage. Flaking are the eyeliner pencil and the lip paint. Everything else, I loved the brushes. Very smooth, very nice. The brushes were $42 for the three of them. But I'm really learning to love and appreciate the Luxie brush set. Yes, 
As I've always said, there are tons of other brush sets that you can find and love and work brilliantly via Small, Wet n Wild, BH Cosmetics. I love all of those companies' sets, brushes, and they range between, you know, $10 to $20. So it is about half the cost of these three Luxie brushes. But like I said, it's your preference. It's what you prefer. The lashes, I'm torn between. I will say they do get my Teeny Daily Seal of Approval because I have a lot of you that have been requesting that I use higher end lashes like House of Lashes and things like that. So this actually ended up working out. Baddington Lashes is a higher end brand of lashes. They're beautiful. They're very voluptuous. They were so easy to apply. I mean, my goodness, you guys, y'all saw it. It took me seven seconds seven seconds to just plop them on there and find the right fitting. Very, very simple, very, very quick. I'm gonna continue to use them because they're mine now, but I'm gonna continue to purchase my Kiss Lashes. I get the same volume and just about the same stability for significantly less price point. Last but not least, I feel like we don't even need to spend very much time talking about this. This palette is amazing. You guys saw it. Look at the look we were able to come up with and achieve. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. There was hardly any fallout. The pigmentation was there. The pigmentation was there. <laughs> and it's versatile. Still, I do feel like $28 is a bit much for an eight eyeshadow palette. But dash garnet, I'm so in love with it. And I feel like these shades are so unique especially these these four right here are so incredibly unique that I'm just like I personally would pay for it because I would want it and the packaging is adorable but you know if you don't have $28 to spend on an eight you know color eyeshadow then I totally understand that as well but this palette definitely gets my teeny daily seal of approval Alrighty, you guys, so in all in all, what do we think of this one's BoxyCharm box? Um, definitely, as always, BoxyCharm blew it out of the park. I absolutely loved that they made it more about the influencers this time around and what their favorites were. I love that they included a growing company. Like I said, Alamar Cosmetics. She was growing and putting these packages together with her cousins and her grandfather and everything in her Instagram story. And I just thought that was adorable and it really touched my heart. I love that BoxyCharm is working with companies like this because that is obviously my dream one day. And I hope that a company like BoxyCharm can have faith and belief in me like they did in a company like Alemar. And look at that. Look at that. Their belief and faith paid off because it's an amazing, gorgeous palette. So once again, in case you're new to my channel or you've never watched any of my BoxyCharm unboxings, it is $21 a month. It is a monthly subscription box. And every month I have been just, yes, yes, and yes, yes, darling, yes. It is totally worth it. And totaling everything up, it comes to $136 worth of products this month for $21. I pay $21 a month and I got all these goodies. More than worth it in just the Alemar Cosmetics palette alone. Alrighty, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media handles. They'll be down in the description box below, baby. Also, don't forget to go click on that um, more reviews button. You know you want to binge watch just one more. Come on, just, just one more video. What? You don't got to get up for work. It's fine. It's fine. Hit the snooze button. You're good. Subscribe to t &E Daily and watch one more. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. Do something that makes y'all smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day.